Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. So let's chat and set the, the tone for this particular playthrough. Hopefully you're doing well, Chris. Uh, I played a very small portion of this game a very, very long time ago. Uh, I guess it would have been early 2000s. I recall about this game, it has anime cutscenes, anime portraits, and voice acting. I think some of the dialogue is okay. Some of it is very cheesy in terms of how they voice acted. I recall that it is a 3D fighting game. So it's a very early 3D fighting game. So I'm sure it's going to feel mm, mm, good going back to it many decades later. Uh, but I think from what I remember for the most part, I don't think it's as bad as Terranigma. But granted, I don't think I got very far in the story. So it's possible the story is worse than Terranigma. But I think overall, in terms of enjoyment, <laughs> playability, I don't recall having a lot of frustration with the game. So we're going to go through. We're going to be uh, testing the waters, as it were, with the Grand Stream Saga. So I didn't even know this game was technically made by Quintet until literally looking up this game uh, for the stream. Uh, apparently Shade, which worked on this company, is a subdivision within Quintet, according to online resources. So it's still technically a Quintet game, even though the word Quintet is not there. So we're going to be venturing onto the PS1 for this one. And let's see, Chad, we'll, we'll, we'll gauge it. I mean, <laughs> it, it would take like a miracle to be a worse game than Terranigma at this point. Like, it, it would have to be an absolute travesty start to finish. And yet it would have to be bad in a way that is not entertaining. I feel like it's too hard. <laughs> is that, I feel like if, if you start going down that road, you just end up with Sisteria, which is, like, unintentionally hilarious. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. So we'll pause the soundtrack for a moment. Oh, I need to rearrange my browser windows. That is really confusing to me. Let us hop into the game. Oh, actually, speaking of which, let me... I don't think I like it with the back background. I thought about it. I'm going to nuke the chat just to put the background back. See if I like that a little more. I guess that kind of works. I was resizing some things. I might shrink the box later. But anyway, uh, let's see. Let us hop into the game itself. Oh boy, THQ, I haven't seen that in eons as well. Blast from the past, chat. I recall there being dialogue here. In that world, between beginning and end, my established happenings laid out chapter to chapter in the book of the almighty being. Oh no, not chapter to chapter. Don't remind don't remind me of those chapters. They never ended in the other game. And in each and every event written there emanates from the will of the author. The pages that complete each chapter. Like that a little better. We call time. How dramatic. But who is to know when and if the story ends? Well, I'm pretty sure the game ends, so. I think I like that resize a little better. And that world was ending as if a book 
we're finished being read, or a game completed, or chapter three, which goes on for eternity. Oops, all chapter three, chat. But the evil that live within the closing book rip the end chapter asunder, with gnashing teeth leaving the multiplication to begin. Also, I'd like to I'd like to state that they use the word happening, and all I'm thinking about is plot happenings. I'm just I just like to state it. <laughs> I unintentionally, it feels like I'm now in theme with Grandstream Saga. I called them happenings. Plot happenings now fits with this game. Mm. So let's let's enjoy the menu. Ooh. Oh, this this is the PS1 menu right here. What is this like papyrus? What is this font? Change button configurations. Do not change configurations. Go back. So let's take a look. Our talk and attack are the same button X. I'm okay with that. Square is magic, sure. Defense is circle, sure. Also, I like that I like that it shows L2 and R2 on the controller, but nothing's assigned to it because this is the age where I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why they don't use the back buttons, actually, now that I think about it. It makes sense that there's no thumbsticks, because we're pretty early in the life cycle. But yeah, look look at that classic controller, Chan. Yeah, I mean, out of curiosity. What? Wait, when I hit change button configurations, it says do not save your changes. Save your changes, are you sure? What? <laughs> Wait, hold on, that doesn't feel translated properly. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Text box, are you having a battle with yourself already? Well, you know what, Chad? Let's not confuse the game. <laughs> <laughs> this one is special. That's that's a good sign of things to come. Chat, do not save save your game. Well, anyway, let's start with the start button. So prepare for cutscenes, because I'm pretty sure this game starts with anime cutscene. Oh, you can see our derp protagonist on the left there. Chat, whoa! The chicks are going to die! Goodbye, piece of the floating continent. One hundred years ago, in the Gangstrom Nebula, a great war devastated the land. After years of skirmishes, two opposing forces clashed in a final confrontation. One faction was led by the Imperial Wizardry, the other by the Allied Spirit Army. As the battle raged on, the Imperial Wizardry activated a dangerous weapon both sides had agreed to ban. The weapon was fired into the core of the planet to destroy enemy territory. But a miscalculation disturbed the planet's axis, melting ice caps and triggering tidal waves that would eventually cause complete submersion beneath the sea. Foreseeing this tragedy, four wise men used a magical control tower called Airlim to keep four continents from sinking. Each wise man used a magic orb to power Airlim, but the orbs had to be re-energized at regular intervals. So the wise men left a magic orb on each continent with their descendants, the new wise men, to carry on their work. Now. The inhabitants of the floating continents are intent on building a new world. But suddenly, all of the new wise men are starting to disappear, 
and there have been rumors of Imperial Wizardry warship sightings. Without the new wise men, the lands of Shilf, Aquas, Volkos, and Zephyr are beginning to slowly sink into the sea. Once again, an entire civilization is threatened with extinction. Save them, Steve Bloom, save them. Jeez, Chad, he really isn't everything. Now loading, dot, dot, dot. Oh, remember loading screens, Chad? Several years have passed since the wise men who lifted the four lands disappeared. Each land is now slowly running out of energy to float and drifting into the sea. Somewhere between the sky and the ocean lies the wind continent of Shilf. To slow down its descent, parts of the land are being sliced off, making it lighter. Hopefully you're doing well, Calvisham. The town of Arona is located on the land of Shilf. As the world approaches its certain doom, the inhabitants hope for salvation. A huge mountain stands in the center of the land. At its base stands a small shack. Wouldn't, they, wouldn't you think it would have made more sense to cut off the mountain a little bit? <laughs> Whatever. There lives an archaeologist named Valos and his adopted son, Aeon, who's definitely the protagonist. The two are responsible for slicing out the land with the help of a magic stone. Today, after the work is completed, the two head back home. Oh, we get the judging eyes of father in the corner chat. Aeon, where have you been? I moved the bird's nest to a safe place. I see. That was a valiant rescue, but very foolish. What's wrong, Valos? You look troubled. The truth is, Aeon, the magic stone we used today to slice off the land was the very last one. Good call, Calvisham. Not allowed to use the cool thing in the intro. Good call. Oh no! What are we gonna do? We won't be able to make the land any lighter. It will probably sink. But... We need to have a long talk. Let's go inside. Inside Valos' house. Is there anything we could do to stop Shilp from sinking? Listen, you might be having this conversation, but my eyes immediately drifted to the treasure chest. I don't know about you, chat. I was like, I know where I'm going later. I'm afraid not. The magic has steadily decreased over the last few years. Sadly, each continent is sinking toward the sea. If we do not find answers soon, the lands will vanish. What about the magic stones? The one we used today was the last one. We can't slice off any more land. Well, they just told us that, Aeon. Come on, pay attention to the plot. We can't depend on the other continents either. Can't even be sure of where they are. Well, that's kind of a messed up society. <laughs> the other continents use the same floating power as ours. They're called Vokos, Aquos, and Saphir. Wait, what? What's Saphir? I mean, like, Volkos is fire, Aquos is wind. Or Aquos is water, yeah, I mean. But we're wind, so what's Saphir? Is it supposed to be Earth? I wonder how they're faring. I hope they're still there. It saddens me to think of our grim future. I'm afraid we are running out of time. Aeon, why don't you make us some tea now? Ah, the classic, we're all gonna die, have some tea. Yeah, but we're the wind continent. You see, that's what I would have thought too. <laughs> I agree, normally I think of that as wind. That's why I had to like double take on that. Unless we're secretly the earth continent and I misunderstood something. Oh, there we go. So we have LP and HP. Okay. We have MP in the middle. 
a compass to let us know what direction we're facing, which is actually somewhat useful. Oh, the tea set was in the treasure chest? That sucks. Oh, look at- oh, look at our rotation speed! Damn, chow, we're fast. Look how quick it snaps. I'll give it that, it's extremely responsive. Take that tank controls on PS1. What? Did you forget how to make tea? Bring the tea set to the stove. Use the healing magic? What? No, 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 no. Right, so we have a scepter that doesn't have anything. And look at our options again. I guess we could do fast dialogue. I don't recall what LP is, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. So we have zero attack, zero defense, 250 gold. We have WAS. I'm assuming those are our different equipment pieces. So I'm going to assume between F and B without having the manual in front of me. I do own the physical copy of the game somewhere. I should probably read the manual at some point. I think F is field, B is for battle. So I can have a difference between battle magic and overworld travel, which is kind of interesting. So the WAS stands for weapon, armor, and shield. Got it. We don't have anything. Gem with mysterious powers detects mimics. 180 MP there, dried herb. I don't know if this is a one and done, which has me a little concerned. You better boil some water so we can have some tea. Here's the stove. I accidentally skipped the dialogue there. That, that time that wasn't the game's fault, that was my fault. I, I was checking items, I didn't actually expect to get a dialogue. Well, anyway, he says there isn't much water left, I better get some more before we run out. No, I don't want to use the healing magic. So, we still have the tea set, so that's good. So if I use- no, 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 no. I have to get used to the fact that use item is not square. Eyes. If you ask Valus the question, you can't go out. Oh, do we have to ask about the water? Okay. <laughs> Our first journey, chat, is figuring out what the game wants. Okay, so I used the tea set. I'm assuming it doesn't want me to use the high potion. And he says, you better boil some water so we can have some tea. Then I investigated here, and it says, you wonder if there's something inside the jar. There's not much water left. We better get some more before we run out. So how do I get the water to go where I need to go? Oh, there's nothing in the other barrel. So if I investigate anything else, do I get any other prompts? Like, is there something I have to do? These are Valos's books. Huh. We're at our first puzzle chat. <laughs> Figuring out how to advance the dialogue. We'll get there eventually, I promise. So let's think. What did I not try something on? Is it like really picky with do I have to do it like here or something and that's why it didn't work? You cannot boil the okay, so now we got a different prompt. That makes a bit more sense. Okay, it's it, okay, it's very picky. Okay, we got it. See, I, I just thought we had to be generally in front of it, but no 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 no. We have to literally be in front of the thing that we need to do. Okay, we're fine, we're not stuck. Oh yeah. I need to start a fire in the stove. You light a fire in the stove. I'm sorry, Valos. I put out the fire before I went out. Take some time for the water to boil. Tell me some more. All right. We can talk while we wait for the water to boil. Now, Aeon, becoming quite proficient in the use of magic. You have a very quick mind. Why do I feel like that's not true? I feel like we're slow. <laughs> I mean, given in-universe things, we uh, failed to start a tea set properly. <laughs> I discovered there may be a way to save our continent. Really? How? The wise man Zor was the servant of the Wind Spirit. Don't use the word Zor. You're just gonna make me think of Zelda. 
Since Zora's disappearance, the land's power to float has steadily decreased. I've been thinking. We solved the secret of the wise man's power. May be able to save Shilf. Oh, don't zoom in on their block faces. They look better at a distance, but <laughs> don't do that now. Now I'm going to ask the Elder for permission to enter the Kilia Shrine. I have a feeling that is where the wise men's secrets are hidden. Yeah, I was, I was expecting at least like the Final Fantasy VII plastered like googly eyes or something. But isn't it? Yes, it's dangerous. Many have lo have been lost there. I may never return, but I may I must at least try. Wow, is he throwing death flags already? If anything happens, don't come after me, Aeon. There's no reason to endanger your life, too. I didn't mean to bring this up. Please, don't worry about it. Well, I think it's time for some tea. Aeon, why don't you make us some tea? Bonk. Help! Something horrible has happened! What brings you into our home in such a hurry? Well, something horrible's happened. Actually, you know what? I'll give them that. The flame graphic looks mostly fine. I'll give them that, chat. For PS1, I'll take that. I'm sorry, Bellas, but it's very urgent. The towner's owner's... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let's try this again. The tavern owner's son, Roddy, has disappeared. I named him Roddy? Like, Roddy Piper? <laughs> Why? What we found was a shoe by the cliff. Do you think he may have fallen? By the cliff. Do you think he was there when we sliced off the land? Don't jump to conclusions, Ray. Let us consider the situation. <laughs> Your face has disappeared. And I see the shoe. <laughs> and then he throws it in the fire and says, You saw nothing. <laughs> right, chat? Hmm. Perhaps my magic can be of some help. I'll find him with the magic of locating. I will locate the child using some magic from the basement. You should wait here. Translation, we should not wait here. Oh, okay, why do you have a secret entrance to your basement? I'm starting to have a lot of questions here. Oh, because you have like a demonic circle <laughs> in your basement. Never mind. You know what, chat? That checks out. That checks out. Listen, you don't want people finding that when they're coming over. Magic of locating. Take me to the owner of the shoe. We spinny camera. Is that magic of locating or magic of teleporting? <laughs> the effect of magic seems stronger than usual. Where's Valos gone? We just leave. Better wait for Valos to return. Oh, it's gonna force us to go in the basement. Hope that Valos magic can find Roddy. Okay. I wish there was a quick use for these items. Ooh, it did use up the item instantly. Ooh, that sucks. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to just deal with it then. Hopefully we could restock those. I was curious if it had any effect in the building. Apparently not. Hmm. The magic still seems active. Maybe it has something to do with Valos's magic being more powerful than usual. I feel an ominous presence. Is Valos all right? The magic portal is still open. Maybe we should go find Valos. Sure. We spin a circle. So discovering mimics and or hidden things, Wiseman Cemetery Basement 1. Apparently it's just a one use item? That kind of sucks. Well, hopefully we don't need that in the near future. So far, I am liking the music of the game. Aeon, are you disobeying my orders? I told you to wait. I'm sorry. I thought you could use some help. Take a look over here. Is 
see those metal scraps lying around. I suspect this is the wise men's cemetery. I've never been here before. It is a sacred place. All the wise men who help lift the lands lie here. I guess when the slice of land was cut off, the tremors tore a hole in the wall. Aeon, there may be danger. Please be on the lookout. Yes, I felt an ominous presence as so Oh, yes, I felt an ominous presence as soon as I got here. Your instincts have never ceased to amaze me. Welcome, Kirk. Listen, Aeon, stay here while I look around. Uh, I'm gonna investigate the scrap. What is this? Uh-oh. A bright glow emanates from your left arm. Feel a mysterious power fill the room. Suddenly, a strong feeling overwhelms you. And an image appears. It's the image of a soldier you've never seen before. The soldier's weapon is imprinted in your mind. Aeon, what have you done now? It wasn't me. When I touched the scraps, the scepter began to glow. Your scepter, what did it do? There seems to be some magic embedded in it. You were wearing it when you were found. I wonder what else it could do. I fear there is danger ahead of us. I better go alone. Stay here and wait for me. Yeah, we're definitely not waiting for him, right, chat? No way. Uh, so it said the scepter did something, but I don't see anything here. I don't have anything to do yet. Oh, look at that rotation. Ooh. What are you doing? I asked you to wait. I'm sorry, fellas. I guess my curiosity is getting the best of me. Well, just be very careful. There's a green crystal to the west. It seems to ha have a certain powers when you touch it. Be sure to examine it. It might be of help. It may or may not be this game's save point system, and we really want you to know what that looks like. Health is restored. Crystal communicates you, to you through the scepter. Do you wish to save? Sure. Oh, we're checking a memory card chat. Pillar is sealed off. Perhaps this path leads somewhere. I think Roddy is close by. No, Eon. You better wait here until I find Roddy. Feel a strong power. Okay. Why, hello there. What is this? Uh-oh, chat. Dramatic zoom! We woke it up. Oh no, it's alive! Ooh, that was close, but now I'm in trouble! Uh-oh, scepter to the rescue. The lights streaming out of the scepter. It is surrounding you, filling you with some kind of power. Do I stand a chance fighting against this thing? At least he only has one arm. I do remember enjoying the fight music. Now don't just shoot laser beams at me, that's rude. Oh, I understand. Life point, so it's a life point. So then, basically what's happening is it's playing through Saga Frontier rules. So your hit points will gradually drain down, and if you run out, you lose a life point. So it's kind of like having multiple lives as you play. I'm sure some things might restore life points versus HP. And that's why there's a distinction there. You defeated Guardian. What is this? When look at the remains, I see the image of a soldier. 
I seem to have gained his armor. Cool. Oh, yeah, what's this way? Oh. Thou must continue north. Got it. I could heal myself with magic. Don't feel like it yet. We're not that injured. Basement 2. I wonder if this could be a magic stone. Can I pick it up because of the barrier? Strong power overcomes you. My scepter is glowing again. I wonder why. Someone speaks to you through your mind. You have come to the wise man's cemetery. Let's test your skills. Uh oh, they turned out the light. Oh, I like. I will give it that. It's had some very good camera angles so far for like. Telling off the story. I like that little bit where you saw from the standpoint of the the knight slowly encroaching us. Okay, so that dark spot means I can't walk there. Oh, I was hoping to just wail on him. That's fun. So there's like kind of like mini arenas based off of where we are, so that's kind of interesting. I am Zora. Fate has brought you here. Take this orb of the wind and bring it to my child, Arcia, to save Shilf. May the spirits protect you. I could mix in some defense to see if I take damage while defending. Right now I'm just getting used to the controls, so we'll, we'll experiment a little more. The wise man told me I should take the orb. Oh boy, Chad, I got a new sponsorship offer from Marvel Strike Force. I'm ready to just hit X on that. I mean, oops, I missed out. We take the Orb of the Wind. The barrier was released. A strange voice must have been Zora. Bellows told me about him. A wise man of the wind. What kind of power does the scepter have anyway? You feel that you're getting stronger. You've gained a level. I thought I told you to be more careful. So you're wearing some armor. Where is it and how did you get it? The, re the scepter restored it from metal scraps. Really? The scepter has that kind of power? Must be one of those legendary weapons. But it can't be. Those weapons were lost many years ago. Well, you seem to be all right, but try to stay out of trouble. Found Roddy. He was behind the pillar. It's all right, Roddy. No need to be frightened anymore. You should let your parents know that you're safe. I'll use my magic to bring the two of you back to town. Aeon, please take him back home. I have some more things I'd like to investigate. I will see you later. Bellows, please be careful. Spinning camera, wee. Town of Arona. Oh. You okay there, loading screen? What happened there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it freak out? I don't think it's supposed to be like this. Uh-oh. I might have to go find another copy if this is going to behave like this. It's definitely not supposed to look like this. What happened? It's like something about how this town loads, it breaks. What? Why did it work this time? <laughs> what was different? What ha- Okay, whatever. Ugh, stupid game. Okay, I guess we'll continue. I'm gonna shrug. I Just whatever. 
whatever. This time it works. I I guess I had to get more injured. Who knows? Playthrough continues for now. Eon and Ronnie return to town using Velos's magic. The town of Verona is already dark. Okay, this time we're loading in with correct colors. So it is supposed to be nighttime, but at least we're not missing blue. I don't need you. I'm just trying to be a hero. I can find the way back home myself. Wait, doesn't he run to the bar? <laughs> I go back home. Roddy, where have you been? We're very worried. <laughs> I like to think the little kids drink in chat. Okay. So unfortunately we're injured because I was just mashing to get through cutscenes. Lately, Roddy's been so rebellious. I wonder why. So we're going to look for a way to heal ourselves without using magic. We did learn that blocking the laser beam just pushes you back really far. So it looks like an item shop, maybe? Expect there's something inside the barrel. You found a dried herb, okay. Church chapel. I'm assuming the church has a save point. Oh, no. Unfortunate. The church does not save, chat. Doors locked. Okay. I expect there's something in the barrel, but it's empty. The Despot pirates are actually good people. Help those that are in trouble. Once in a while, they come here to get supplies. But lately, their intentions have been questionable, as they made a treaty with the Imperial Army. I would love to be an air pirate and fly around. That says... T E N S C E. What is that supposed to be? Tense. Not sure. I follow. Like what? What? In like? I'm like, can I? Oh, I wanted the chest. No, I wanted to sneak the chest in. Game. You teleported me into the cutscene. Oh, look at Dougal's face. Eon, you found my son. Thank you so much, Eon. Hope my son has also expressed his gratitude. Roddy, Eon saved your life. Oh, smacked in the back of the head. There we go. Some abuse. I'm sorry, Eon. I'll never run away again. Yay. Thank you for finding him. Very grateful to you. Just let me know if you ever need anything. Or if you, if you ever need me. Hey, Roddy, let's go inside. And then we brought him back to an abusive home. The end. Why don't you stay here? Yes, but the tavern is... Hey, you saved my son, so even though you're a kid, you could come in. It's very late now. He must be starving. Come in and eat. No, no, I want your chest. No, 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 no. Aww. Oh, he's like a cutscene in here. Here's some fried herbs and freshwater fish. Wait, they fish? But there, there was a... Was there a lake on the floating continent? Or did they just have really long fishing poles? <laughs> Am I missing something? And we have the pawn shop owners here. Hey, how's the business over at the apothecary? Apothecary owner says, What can I say? There used to be a lot of airships that would come by. With the sightings of the battleship Vankel, business has not been good. The Desbet pirates have been coming here for their supplies. Oh, oh, everybody's in here. Jeez, busy tavern. We have the curio shop owner again. There's a rumor they made the treaty with the Imperial Army. Even the pirates are afraid they won't survive. It could be true. By the way, what happened to my fried herbs? Oops, I gave them to Aeon. Thank you, Dougal. I better get going. Do you have a place to stay? Yes, I think I'll stay at the church. I see. Well, hope you had enough to eat. And Eon, if you ever need some help, please come and see me. Goodbye. Those fried herbs were really delicious. Hey, my health is restored. Nice. I had a feeling that would happen. You need permission to open the box. It's filled with mushrooms. You hate mushrooms. 
Oh, we hate mushrooms. Oh, that's unfortunate. Rip, no mushrooms for us, I guess. Uh, so you don't have anything new to say, that's fair. So there seems to be kind of like a combo system. Like there's like kind of like an awkward swing. And then if we hit X twice, we get two quick swings. We learned that we can very easily, if we stand at like a 45 degree angle to the Knights, they don't do damage. So we could definitely avoid all damage from the, the Guardians. They're very easy to fight. Um, I guess we'll go to the church then. Hopefully we get a save point this time. Oh, this time there's somebody here. Oh, it's you. I thought you were the priest. Where could he be? Oh, oh no, it's another one of those games that does this, chat. <sighs> we're gonna have a deep sigh, deep moment. Video game developers, please stop making deep pad advanced dialogue. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. I hate it. I hate it when it's in video games. I have never liked it in any game it has ever been in because normally what I do is I I am bored, so I roll my finger on like the control stick or the equivalency thereof, or I'm holding a direction to preemptively move after the cutscene ends. And then realizing it advances the dialogue is quite annoying. So sadly, we missed a little bit of dialogue there. But anyway, the priest is missing. We're not sure where he is because we missed the line of dialogue. But she says, I saw a strange girl praying inside the church. I hate that D-pad advances dialogue. But I never saw her again. It seems suspicious for such a small town. Okay. Okay. Lately, the priest has been behaving strangely. Okay. So that's all she really said there. So do we have to find the priest? Is this suddenly our problem now? I still don't know how they got the fish. Um, anything else I wanted to add? Oh yeah, I was saying before with the, the wise men. I like how they had this plan to revitalize the floating continents and they had to use stones, but then they sealed it away in a place that's guarded and then I guess they forgot to tell the descendants how to get it. That seems like a big fail on their part. <laughs> Everything... Uh, I don't feel quite right. Everything is spinning. Suddenly I heard a strange noise coming from the church. But when I asked the priest, he didn't have an answer. I think it's suspicious. Okay, so you're telling me that the church has something suspicious in it. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so they're questioning how we got into town. Because the gate was locked, but we know we came in via magic. Alright, so that looks like the armory. Check that out in a little bit. Give me one second as I make a small note. Alright, so let's just try going back to the church. Maybe it is just that simple. We had to find the drunk guy. We don't have to overcomplicate things sometimes, chat. Ah, uh, the old hidden altar trick. Who's that? It's very late. Is that you, Eon? What are you doing here? Is something wrong? I was hoping that I could sleep here tonight. The gates of Orona are already locked. All right, just for tonight. Thank you. Must be God's will that brought you here. Should say a prayer before you go to sleep. Yes, I've had quite an exciting day. I found this beautiful gem and oh yeah, we're we're getting put in the basement chat. Oh my, could that be the orb of the wind? Where did you get it? What about Arcia? Oh, I just remembered something. Excuse me. Ah yes. What is going on? Where is he going? Arcia, Arcia. That's the name. The name of the voice in the Wiseman Cemetery said. Can I just go in the basement? Small gap between the altar and the floor. You check the altar carefully. Yeah, I just found a passage at the basement. I mean, to be fair, it makes sense for us to find it because, you know, everybody we know apparently has a secret basement. Okay, what horrible things are we going to see in here?
Is there anything worth investigating in here? Hmm. I wish I could save. Something about this area is very suspicious. Do I use my panther eye in here? So I'm thinking, chat. No, don't use the heal magic. Is, I think this detects hidden items. I mean, it's been a long time since I played. I'm thinking, do I want to use it against the northern wall? Or do I want to use it, like, here? To potentially find, like, a hidden passageway. <sighs> I mean, I could use the magic of save states. I might as well as check chat. Hold on. I don't like to use save states, but the game really did not give me a place to save, and I'd really rather not have to replay like five minutes of cutscenes to get back here. Okay, I'm gonna try this place first, just to see if it does anything. We're allowed to make these mistakes. Nothing happens. Okay. Let me load then. Is there anything here? I just want to double check. Nothing happens. So it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. I'll hold on to it for now. As I said before, I would have liked to... I thought there was literally a save in the church. Maybe it appears later or something. Oh, well. Yeah, because it's like... Unless it's lined up with this, looking at the wall. Let's see, Chan. Nothing happens. Cool. Oh, well. I thought I'd explore here a little bit. My bad, chat. Anyway, back to the story. Good look at the comb. Something on the table? Do you want to look at it? Sure. Take the silver comb. Whose comb could this be? Why is it in the basement? Hmm... Hmm, there seems to be a lock of hair left in the comb. Girl's image appears in front of you. Who are you? Don't be creeping, Protag. The girl named Marcia. Dot, 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 exclamation mark. What are you doing in here? The orb of wind. Maybe you are... Tell me the truth. Are you also after the orbs? No. You are Velos' son. You couldn't be one of them. However, you know about Arcea's existence. I should explain some things to you. Follow me. I think we should follow him. Yet we did anyway. Had a girl named Arcea hidden in the back room. She's the child of an old friend who asked me to take care of her. The other day, she was kidnapped by the Imperial Army. I was helpless. They were looking for the Orb of Wind, which you have now. Must have heard about the Imperial Army. They're trying to take over. Heard that they are stationed on the continent of Saphir. She must be imprisoned on their battleship, the Vengo. Must be fate that has brought you here. But no. I cannot let you get into such a dangerous situation. There's a lot of people telling me that. Dear God, what should I do? 
Do you like to? S oh, so you can save. You did. Oh, okay. So I did not completely misremember that from last time. So let's save here for now. Can I go back in the basement? No. Interesting. So yeah, if I wanted to check the basement out, I have to do that repeatedly. Oh well. Well, I guess we have nothing better to do, so I'm gonna go back to the tavern. Because I think literally, I think I didn't check this door, but presumably it's locked, yeah. Oh, you're just outside now. Oh, is that you, Eon? What's the matter? I'm closing now. We can't talk here. Let's go inside. Eon, you look unhappy. What's wrong? You think I want to get aboard the Vanguard, but I don't know how. What? Board the Vanguard? What a crazy idea. And since you saved my son's life, I owe you a favor. Let me see what I could do for you. The Despot Pirates are going to make contact with the Vengal soon. You can hide in the cargo. You can get onto the... The Goud? The Goudier? How do you say that? Hide in the chest outside. Make sure they take you. Oh. Well, that's easy. I like how brightly colored it is when everything else is dark. Yeah, we got swallowed by it, chat. Midnight. A member of the Despot Air Pirates has entered the tavern to get some supplies. We're introduced to Geo. Hey, sorry about the time. Hello, Geo. It's been a long time. How's business? <laughs> there are only good times for pirates. What about the supplies I'm here for? Yeah, I got them. It'll cost you 8,345 gems. Damn mimics every time. That's too much. I'm charging you 10% more for coming so late at night. You sure are greedy. Here are the gems. Thanks. Be careful with that box. It's Lemermay's Lerma special order. What? Lemermay's? Better be careful then. Thanks for letting me know. If there's any damage to it, I'd be in a lot of trouble. All right, guys, let's go. Next time, we'll stay longer. Okay, let's pick these up. Be very careful. Handle them with special care. Well, apparently the panther eye does detect mimics. Oh, well. I think I'll refrain from using it for the rest of the game, honestly. I, I don't like that item usage requires going in the menu. I was curious if it revealed secret passageways or not, but maybe it just doesn't exist in the church. Who knows? After loading the supplies, the despots head toward the meeting point with the Vengal. Oh, there we go. We got anime cutscene. We'll call it the good airship chat. Yeah, there's actually a surprisingly high amount of cutscenes. Cut oh my gosh, his name is Slazer? Whew. Ooh, fan yourself down, chat, with that 90s name. Gandor. What's the status on the engines? Ooh, that's, that's quite a look he's got there. We, overheard, uh, we overheated them a little, but I got it under control. We're pushing the limit, though. Pushing the limit? We're only at 70%. I know. The engines need a serious overhaul. I love serious. Oh, that's a name. I almost said serious. It kind of fits. <laughs> they better be able to cut light exactly. Zerus? Like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm hit with a very confusing amount of vowel or <laughs> vowels right in a row. Let me like Zeruus? Like, I don't know how to pronounce that when you put that many in a row. Because if it was Z I R, I'd say Zir. Unless I call it like Zeruus. Maybe? I don't know. I'll have Zeruus take care of it after this mission. Why are we suddenly getting involved with the Imperial Army? They're searching for the four orbs that belong to the continent. Asked us to assist them in their quest. I see. 
must be a lot at stake. Is that why you're being so cautious? It's a dangerous mission. We can't be careless. Yes, sir. I'll make sure the crew knows the drill. Zero Uwes. Is that how I pronounce it? Interesting. Gandor, don't judge me too harshly. I just can't tell you the reason for my behavior. Why are the orbs so important to the Imperial Army? Some say they hold the secrets of the continent's floating power. Wait, they forgot? That's kind of an important plot note to forget about, guys. What's in here? It feels heavy. Sure, because you're carrying it the wrong way. Oh yeah? If you weren't such a weakling, I wouldn't have to work so hard. How would you like to carry it by yourself then? Stop complaining and get to work. That would make it get pretty impatient. Let's see. Phew. Laramie? Laramie? Hmm. Seems she's not here. Let's put it in her room for now. I don't want to keep dragging this thing around. Agreed. Heave ho! Done. Let's head back before Gandor misses us. Another anime cutscene. There you go, chat. Where am I? Uh oh. Huh? <gasps> Who are you, and what are you doing in Laramie's room? Uh, what kind of bird are you? I'm not a bird. I'm Corky the Spirit Beast, and you'd better duck. <sighs> <laughs> nice move, but I hope you realize I had some soap in my eyes. Now you've got exactly one minute to explain who you are and what you're doing here. Wait, they didn't think she was in there? How did they not hear the shower? <laughs> also, Battle Axe and Morningstar, she came ready to fight. <laughs> it's like shower attire. Shower attire, Chad. Morningstar plus Axe. She has a very... what's it called? What? what Tron Bone? Uh, something about her outfit reminds me of Tron Bone. Yeah, they, yeah, that that definitely was their bad. I mean, is she known for just letting the shower run when she's not there? It would seem like a big waste of water. Understandably, she's I irritated at us. Were you watching me while I was in the shower? What are you doing on this ship? Like a despot. Uh-oh, we have Quirky, who's kind of like Quirky. Apparently they were deaf, that's true. Yeah, she reminds she's very Bond-esque. I'm sure he didn't come all this way to watch you take a shower. Hey, Corky, keep your big beat shut. You better have a good excuse for sneaking onto our ship. What are you doing on this ship? I'm... it's... Why are you mumbling? We're on a public transportation system, you know. Let's make a deal. You bring me the finest jewel on the ship. I'll let you stay. I won't turn you into the captain. The storage room is full of treasures. Let's see what you're capable of. Are you familiar with the layout of the ship? Great. Guess I'll just have to help you out a bit. Oh, Corky just disappeared into our inventory. Window orb. Orb from the wise man. Now we have 20 in our stats. We have broadsword, long blade sword, quick with good attacking power, battle suit, simple armor providing weak protection, steel shield, small lightweight shield, no special effects. Okay. You'll be in a lot of trouble if someone finds you. Well, here we are, champ. If this answer here, we're going up and set it down if you're replete. Maybe. Well. Don't go that way. The pirates will find you. Oh no. Someone's coming. Hide quickly. Gee, chat. I wonder what the mascot of the game is. Hide quickly. We just kneel. Phew. That was close. Let's go. I mean, they're apparently deaf, so I'm not sure how much this really impacts us. 
So I still can't go into any of these doors. Master of Stealth, Rude Passage, yeah, pretty much. Okay. We didn't hide, they just didn't look up, that's also true. Hey, wait a minute! What is it, Corky? Use your brain, Eon, they're pirates! Heard of pirates giving their treasure away? This chest is rigged. If its weight changes, the alarm goes off. Better hide at the top of the stairs. I mean, I guess I'll save. Whatever. I don't think I'll go back to the beginning of the game. Even if there's something hidden in the other town, it's fine. We'll just play without it. Oh, look at it descend. Hey, Jill, working hard? Corky, I don't have time to be dealing with your stupid jokes. Sorry, I just... That's it, I'm reporting your antics to Laramie. So she wanted us to get caught, I guess. Why an invention? Rookie just... Yes, it was signed by Zeroes. Or however you say it. He's related to our captain, an excellent scholar of magic. He also designed the ship. Let me tell you this, do it again and you won't get away so easily. Not sure what to tell you. Unless you're a magician, I don't know what you could do. I mean, we are a magician. I'm just going to open it again. What are you doing now? You'll set up the alarm. Thought I could use my scepter. Scepter begins to glow. Scepter memorizes a piece of crystal ore. What did you do? Oh, the bird has teeth? Oh, that's kind of weird. Look at its teeth chat. Grrr, angry, quirky face. I thought the bigger the jewel, the better. Sure most women would agree with you. What the heck was that light? <laughs> oh, quirky. Our quirky companion. Oh, we're not allowed to explore the ship. I might as well go further. Nope, can't do anything there. Yeah, I can't enter any of these doors. I figured I'd check on the way back. This is the captain's room. Same as Slazer. Let's leave before he returns. Oh, well, we got bonus dialogue for coming in here, so there is a door we could interact with. Waiting for Slazer just to be with her or something. Oh no, she's by herself, surprisingly. That was fast. Did you find something? Yes, but I can't tell what it is. Let me see it. The scepter materializes the ore from a crystal. Oh, how did that fit in the chest? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Chat objection. <laughs> Why can we just make it grow? This is the captain's room. His name is XX Edgelord Slayer McCool 69 XX. It's huge. Is it real? Exactly. Even Blue Dawn is confused. Sort of. It's created by magic. Chat loving the Blue Dana command. Can't you do something? I'm sorry. I don't know how to control it. Well, I can't do anything. Well, I'll try. Hmm, you have a special power. Well, if you could do all that, you might be useful. I'll let you stay. Now tell me, what are you doing here? I'm here to rescue a girl that was kidnapped in Arona by the Imperial Wizardry. I was told that this ship was going to meet the Vangel, so I snuck on board. Who is this girl? Also, Chad, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really jealous that they have the background color when I'm thinking of Secret of Mana. Man, would I have liked a solid gradient <laughs> for the text of Secret of Mana. I've never met her, but her name is Arcea. You're risking your life for a girl you don't even know. 
What are you, Prince Charming? All well, sounds like a fairy tale to me, but it might be interesting. Hide in my shower. Hope you get on board the Vengal, but it will be dangerous. By the way, I'm Laramie. What's your name? I'm Eon. Thank you, Laramie. Well, time to go in the shower, I guess. Eon possesses some sort of magical power. I'm impressed. Hey, Corky. I heard you've been playing with the alarm. No treats for you today. No food. That's cruel. Sad bird face chat. This is Laramie's towel. Hey, what are you doing? One wrong move and I'll throw you overboard. I think I had to do that to advance the plot. Eon, we'll reach the Vengal soon. There you go, chat. Another anime cutscene. Although I feel like that one was really unnecessary. It didn't really show anything. Vengal Battleship. soldier says, Lieutenant, the good just docked. I don't like the fact that the good was allowed to dock. How is our prisoner? Oh, how is our prisoner? She still won't tell us anything about the missing orb. She claims she doesn't know anything about it. She must know. Only one orb and we'll possess all four. The power that comes with them as the lightning strikes in the background. As soon as we finish dealing with the pirates, we'll go to Saphir. Yes, sir. Gee, chat, I wonder who the bad guys are. It could be anybody. Deck. Here is the Vengal's docking area. There's anyone around. They're checking the cargo. supposed to watch the good while they're gone. I can't go anywhere. Good luck, Eon. Hope you can rescue the girl safely. Good luck, Eon. Be careful not to be seen by the soldiers. Translation, we're going to be going on a killing spree. Ooh. I'm so scared of accidentally advancing the plot and not finding hidden items. It does seem like this game does let you interact with things other than treasure chests for items. So we gotta be real careful. Uh, let's start with bottom left. And hope this does not immediately result in progress. Okay, so these doors both lead to each other. So presumably this also leads to the same spot. So we're just confirming. Oh, there's a treasure chest here though. Gem attained, quantity 80. Okay, so we're slightly richer. Let's check out the boxes. Double check I didn't miss anything down here. So we still have healing magic. We're at full health. Turn on the switch for the cargo elevator. Then go passageway. There's big doors in all directions. Let's go left first. Ooh, we can't. Locked. We go up. Oh, we only have one direction. Okay, that, that limits our progress a little bit. Let's go left. Uh, is that just a soldier? Can I just fight him? So it seems like circle strafing is their weakness. I mean, in my defense, that's their fault. Although he put himself against the box. Oh, he actually rotated. I was not expecting that much of a rotation. And I could try to block his attack and see what happens. So it seems like guarding is pretty good as long as they don't multi-hit you. Nothing seems to break it so far. Yo, you better retreat from me. I'm destroying you, fool. Gonna swing at me?
Okay, that's pretty easy. Yo, he just explodes. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Why did he, why did he explode? You defeated Fuji. Jeez. Defeated is an understatement. We just ended his existence. So it seems like some fights are optional, which is interesting. I kind of like that. I mean, we're definitely going to kill everybody we see. I don't care what the game wants. Oh, little projectiles. Do we have a pretty big delay? After our attacks. So I can't guard right away. Like, I'm holding guard as soon as I'm done with the swing. So chat understands the big delay there. So the shockwave just seems to knock us back. So it doesn't really threaten us very much. It seems like we could guard pretty quickly after the double strike, though. We defeated Slurg. Rip Slurg, Chad. We destroyed him. Uh, okay. There are two panels up and down. What do I do? Okay. We can't do anything here. Let's go to the second floor first. Rip Slurg, chat. Got absolutely bodied. So, so far, you know, the combat is a little bit reactionary, which is fine. You know, I'm not expecting it. Oh, the num. It's a. Okay, now I understand. Oops, somebody coming off the elevator here. Who are you? What are you doing here? You don't even have a name. Oh. Alright, so, so this is probably the most aggressive we've seen them so far. Yo, look at that combo! Yo, is he gonna stop? Ooh, multi-hit combo. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Ooh, okay, so I can guard between some strikes that he does. Okay, I had a feeling that was unblockable. I just needed to test it. I needed to test. I, I couldn't just assume I needed to know. So yeah, he's definitely a step up. So it's good that we can't just block every attack. The soldier has been defeated. Uh, let's now heal. Wish there was kind of a dodge button. Who is it? Oh. Yeah, this... I am not a fan of this enemy. He's very aggressive. <sighs> okay, so I can interrupt the other attack. Yeah, see, he's, like, slightly faster than me, which kind of sucks. Oh, he leaned really far forward. I was not expecting that, actually. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait, there is a sidestep. Oh, that makes more sense now. You know, I only have it in one direction. Oh, it's... Oh, I got it. Oh, now this makes more sense. I was about to say, I was like, how do I catch up with his movement? That makes more sense now. So it's R1 is the thing that lets me circle straight a little faster. But it's not perfect. Okay. So now we learned. I had a feeling I was missing a button. You've attained the key for the prison cell. Nice. So that was a mandatory fight. So if we really need to, I got a healing item. It's not a big deal. I would like to find a save point, though, at some point, if nothing else. Yeah, there we go. See, that's perfect timing. Oh, you don't restore MP when you go to the save point. Interesting. Unfortunate. Okay. Okay. We can just climb these for some reason. Kind of like a box puzzle going on. So 
It's all this to get to a treasure chest. What's back here? Piece of metal attained. Scepter begins to glow. I'm assuming this is new equipment. The Dirk is restored. Oh, is this a faster weapon? Because Dirks are normally daggers, right? Simple light light dagger, good for nibble attacks. Yeah, I think we just need to interrupt their sword swings. So, like, where enemies might be big and slow, the sword might make some sense. And if there's no random encounters in this game, I'm going to be really happy because I am so done with most random encounters. I like how we're in Vangle, but with, like, a tilde. So we got an optional weapon. That's nice. So can't go there. Went in there. You go to the third floor. So even though it looks like a really big place... Press your own buttons. This is getting you nowhere. What? Third floor is locked. Go to the main passageway? Unless I have to literally use the key on the elevator, which is possible. Still can't go to the third floor. Was there a door that was locked? Because I can't use this one at all. Hmm. Alright, so now we have a question. Where do we use this key? Where do we use it? Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something on the second floor. Let's go back up. We can't go to the third floor yet. Let's double check. I was contemplating. I was walking through my head my, the steps I took. I can't think of anything on the first floor that'd be there. This is something like, was it just like literally this? Do I need to use the key here? There is no keyhole. Oh, there's more than one door here. Oh. Okay, never mind. You insert the key to the prison cell. The key slowly turns, making a strange sound. Who are you? My name is Eon. You're Arcia. Why, yes. But do I know you? No, but I'm a friend. I bring this gift from your father. He said it was of great importance. Oh, from my father? <laughs> is she about to like magically explode in the room? <laughs> what is she doing with the stone? Is that light? It's some sort of jewel. I don't know why it glows. Some sort of mysterious power. Shh, a voice. Don't you hear a voice? This is Zora. I am, a, I am the wise man who controls the wind spirit. You are my daughter. Father, can it be? Bwong. Father's bwonging into the room chat. Arcia, you've regained the wind orb. I made certain that you would receive my instructions. I think this will help you to understand. My father disappeared when I was very young. But why? How can I hear his voice? This orb is used in the lifting ceremony. The wise men of the four lands use four orbs to control the Tower of Erlen. The Imperial Wizardry, who once destroyed the world, have rejoined. And they will try to rule the world once more by using the power of Erlen. As the lands continue to sink to their doom, the struggle for power goes on. Arcia, you're holding the wind orb. 
The water orb belongs to the land of Aquas. Why are there two there, though? The fire orb belongs to the land of Volkos. And the earth orb belongs to the Saphir. Yeah, I feel like Saphir should have been the wind place. I, I agree with chat. The survival of the continents is dependent on these orbs. Never allow the Imperial Army to have them. Just like we all know, Zora should have been part of the Water Nation. I'm just saying, chat. <laughs> Missed opportunity. Could have had Fish Dad. Because whoever has possession of all four orbs will have control of Erlim. Arcea, you must guide Erlim and recite the lifting verses. Then the magic of Erlim could be released to restore the continents. Arcea, you are our only hope. You must save us. Why does L2 advance dialogue? I swear, chat. The, the, these games with their random buttons that advance dialogue, I swear. Can I not rest my finger on a button somewhere? Like, come on. Father, wait. How could you? Also, R2 advances dialogue for some reason. It's so hard to believe. What should I do? Also, R1 also advances dialogue. First, we need to get out of here. L1 also advances dialogue. We should board the good and ask them to take us back. Then we can figure out what to do. Okay, I'm sorry about this. I've been so rude. I haven't even thanked you yet. Thank you for saving my life, Eon. You don't have to be so polite. Yeah, I was like, so D-pad down advances dialogue. All the shoulder buttons do. Triangle advances the dialogue. All right, Eon. Just wanted to make certain that you know I'm grateful. Square advances dialogue. Okay, I know. Cancel advances dialogue. Let's hurry up and get out of here. R3 advances dialogue? Oh my gosh, chat. They want to make sure you advance that dialogue. Holy. Don't put R3 as a dialogue advancement. Now I understand. Holy. Though the evil forces that rule the earth have perished. L2 also advances the dialogue. Our foolishness still exists in the form of the four orbs. Will humankind repeat its cycle of destruction? Square, of course, advances dialogue. At literally every button. A mere stone. Well, that time it auto-advanced. I was going to see if select and start also advance the dialogue. Oh. They do, chat. They do. I thought someone was hiding. Nobody's there. Don't worry. Literally every button advances the dialogue, chat. Wait, does up advance the dialogue? Even up advances dialogue? Oh no. Holy. Every button chat. This is the control room. Someone stole the orbs from the hangar. Killed all the pirates on sight. Do you think they discovered our presence? It's too dangerous here. Let's go to the lower deck. Wow, we didn't even answer her question. Deck. Well, I'm glad we got the optional weapon, by the way. That was our only opportunity to get it. I'll go check it out. Wait here, okay? Yes, I'll wait. So what restores MP in this game? Just like the inns, maybe? You can't see the deck from here? Yeah, you're looking at a door, dummy. What? What? Why can't I go view the deck from... What? Where do you want me to go if not there? I'm confused. Yeah, I know I can't see the deck from here. Why only this door? <laughs> why not why not any of the door? Like maybe not the double doors, but like why not the side doors? Out on the deck, the group is surrounded by the Imperial Army. What's happening out there? I have a feeling something has gone wrong. Is it a feeling or the fact that they literally blared the alarm earlier? Come on, Arcia. It's not rocket science. No! They've all been captured! Now we'll never get out of here! Over there! Someone's coming! Huh? Who are you? Oh, what a pretty picture! The brave young warrior and the beautiful damsel in distress! So, how did you two find the other three orbs? I'm curious! Uh, who said we found them? I've been informed of every move you've made. And now it's time for me to make mine. I've got them all! Oh, oh no! <laughs> What have you done? 
Now that the orbs have been destroyed, you nor anyone else can perpetuate the selfish destruction of nature's gifts for their own greedy purposes. You wanted the orbs so you could use their magical powers to rule the four continents. You must believe me, that wasn't our intent. You're just like the rest. You swear you won't be corrupt, but you will be. Leave now, you're free to go. Yo, that's not how you open Go doors. Ahead. No one will stop you. One's destiny cannot be manipulated. What the way to destroy the orbs that power the air station? Did they just forget? The, are, is no one in this universe aware of the plot that was at the beginning? I'm kind of confused. Like, aren't we all now going to crash and die? The scepter memorizes the pieces of the orbs. Your body's overcome with a strange feeling. You've gained a level. What was that? I don't know. That was a cutscene that happened, though. Well, I'm glad we checked out the sparklies. Oh, now every door is locked. Okay. See, they could have just said every door was locked before. I suppose I just can't see the deck from here. So, I mean, our attack and defense didn't look like it shifted, but it looks like we have more hit points per life point now. So we now have 40. So wait, it tells us we can't go through the open door, but then, but then they open another door anyway. Hey, Eon, what are you doing? Hey, is that the girl you're looking for? Eon, is this your bird? I'm not a bird, I'm... Never mind, I don't have time for this. Yandor instructed us to escape while the soldiers are busy with the despots. But what about Laramie and her friends? They'll be able to escape once they killed some of the soldiers. Okay. Yo, we don't even try to gather them, we just leave them there. I can't go by myself. I didn't expect this much trouble. Let Corky give you a ride back to Shilf. Does he grow or something? I don't understand how this works unless he turns into like a dragon bird thing. What happened to my brother? He went back to the Vengal to disengage their armament system. By the way, he wanted to tell you not to worry, no matter what happens. What? What is he going to do? But I can't abandon the good. I'm a despot. We'll be all right. I know. Please hurry. I don't want to be on my own for too long. <laughs> It'll be like how you use a Pidgey to fly. That's true. You're late. What took you so long? Well, well, Quirky told us not to go out right away. At least you made it here without dying on me. This must be Arcea, right? My name is Laramie. Pleasure to meet you. I'm happy to see there are women in the despots. Well, I'm the only one. Sometimes it's hard. Uh, never mind. Let's go. Come on, Corky. Take us to Shilf. Can't wait for a decent meal. What is he gonna eat the people at Shilf? Corky? It'll be tough carrying all three of you. Wind, sun, breath of the spirits. Give me your mighty power. What will happen now? You'll have to see it for yourself. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Okay, I'm expecting anime cutscene for this, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, just in Biggins. He in Biggins. That's fair. Big bird. Now loading. He turned into Pidgeotto, chat. Quirky, you're huge! I'm a spirit beast, remember? Yes, he's a big bird. Sorry, spirit beast. Still looks like a bird to me. Hey, if you want to get off, just let me know. Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. Quirkzilla away, maybe. Like the rippling flat effect. 
Here we go. Hold on. Uh oh, faster clouds, chat. Oh. We got out of the thunderstorm, I guess. We cloud effects. Oh, cutscene again. I sure hope no one saw me take the broken pieces of the orbs. If they did, they'd be right behind us. I hope my brother's all right. Huh? Oh, what's that? Maybe it's an abandoned Imperial wizardry fortress. Welcome. Ye who possess the four magic orbs hold the key to Erlim. Erlim. <laughs> well, we failed. <laughs> Wow, chat. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing. As per usual, we fail immediately at our goals. We got everybody captured. I am Erlin, the Magic Tower. The wise men and the spirits created me to give floating energy to the continents. Since you have possession of all four orbs, you're recognized as my master. Okay, Zordon. I await your orders. Can I save the game? What is going on? What is this thing? This must be the magic tower my father told me about, but the orbs... My scepter must have restored them using the broken pieces. Erlen, how can we stop these continents from sinking into the sea? On each continent, there is someone who has inherited a lifting verse. If that verse is recited on the spirit altar, the land will be lifted. Hmm, that's very formal. Spirit altar? Lifting verse? I've never heard of them. Me neither. Please tell us more about these things so we know what to look for. I'm sorry, but that's all I could disclose. Huh, you're not much help. Well, it seems we better look for the descendants of the wise men. Right. Guess we should start by returning to Shilf. Yeah, better get Arcea back. The priest will be worried. Maybe we'll find some information there. I feel like we're a combination of, like... Chrono from Chrono Trigger and Adol. It's only a, it's only a matter of time before we wreck the ship. Erlen, please take us to the town of Arona. As you wish. I'm reading the image from your memory. Please choose your exact destination. I'm only able to take you to places in your memory. For now, I can only bring you to familiar locations on the land of Shilf. But here, take this sacred stone. The stone shatters and a mysterious voice echoes through your mind. You've learned the magic of Heirloom Return. Now we're off to Shilf. Nope, we just went there immediately. So we now have our transportation hub. We Nice little water ripple effect it's got there. <laughs> in chat, and now we rule the world. Fear me. <laughs> All right, so I only have one destination. Apparently going back home is not an option. Go back to Arona. Entrance to Arona. This is the Reaper's power. Yeah, I wanted to see some fennel, that's fair. We made it. Thank you, Eon and Laramie. I really appreciate this. I didn't think you would help. That's right. I was forced to get involved in this mess. When Good was besieged by the Imperial Wizardry, all the despots scattered. Really, I don't have time to be listening to your fairy tales. I'm going to see how I could get back to my ship. In she goes. Wait, wait a minute, Laramie! Don't worry, Laramie's used to being alone. She sometimes lacks social skills. Oof. I know. I've caused so many problems for everyone. <laughs> the way she said I know, I think that was almost a response to the social skills. Especially for you, Eon. Look what I've dragged you into. I feel terrible. Go to the church. Perhaps we will find some answers there. If you want, Eon, you could come with me. Those two left me by, left me here by myself. 
absolutely starving. Kind of trouble in the goon I haven't eaten since. Yeah, and you need to take care of me. Gorky disappears into your pocket. Quick, bring me to the tavern so I can have some Venotwa. Yeah, Venatawa? Venatawa. So you have some Venatawa fruit. Hmm. Did, did we really have to open the other door to go into the town? Okay, well, that's fine. Hey, on you look more and more like Velos these days. What are we, aging rapidly? Uh, what's in here? Welcome to the curio shop. I'm sorry, we don't have anything right now. I'm feeling generous. I'll show you part of my own private collection. Look, this is an antique battle axe. Look at the color and luster. Isn't it magnificent? Would you like to hold it? Suddenly, the scepter glows and memorizes the battle axe. Whoa, what is that? Where did that light come from? That was frightening. Well, I got a battle axe, I guess. Didn't get any new armor, though. What do you have to say, small child? Feria? Hello, Ian. I'm practicing my music. You see, while the continent continues to sink, I like to keep up hope. This instrument is the the ocarina. Oh no, we 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 are we are copying some things. There are four holes in it: top L and R and bottom L and R. To cover each hole, it makes a different note. It is an odd tradition. It's a book about the ocarina at the elder's house. You play it fairly well. Would you like to listen? Sure. Oh, she's much taller now that the camera angle has shifted. Music performance chat. Now this is the song of time. <laughs> We're just kind of like, yep, that happened. Bye. <laughs> See, doesn't it sound wonderful? Oh, we have a little jaunty tune as we sink to the earth and die. That's always nice. Oh, we found the mushroom barrel again. I do anything at the well. Can I do anything at the other shops? Hello, is anyone home? Where is everyone? Oh, I'm sorry, it was in the back. Open to the pawn shop. How can I help you? Trade or leave? Can't trade the silver gem for. Why is the panther eye so cheap? It's even cheaper than healing. So we can only trade it for gems. We can't actually get anything. I'm looking at that correctly. Though so we have a separate area just to sell items. That kind of sucks. Having trouble opening the door. Here's a tip. Use L and R to rotate the door upward. It's, it's not that hard. You just face it and hit X. Thank you, useless townsperson. You can't get the water is so relaxing. I wish I could stay here without worries. This is somewhat neat water effect, I'll give him that. And what is this place supposed to be? I don't get how what we look there translated to apothecary, but sure. What can I do for you? Okay. Um greatly increases MP and LP. Feather angel feather of with escape magic, return you to the star. Panther. How much is a panther eye for curiosity? 50? Okay. Could buy the fruit he wants there. Okay, so. We have items that heal health and some items that heal LP. Interesting. Um. I'm not gonna purchase anything yet. I think I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Best service and prices. This is the apothecary. I mean, like, I have items. Like, I have two healing items for LP and something for magic. I'm not feeling, like, super worried. We could go inside this house. Elderly man's house. So some of these are just kind of, like, JPEG storefronts. Others are actual places we can go into, which is fine. We don't need to go into literally every building that's shown. Many books written in an unknown language. We found a chicken in the urn. Yeah, why do people eat chicken? I only eat vegetables. Don't worry, Quirky. We'll eat you later. 
The books on the shelf are just tablets used to practice writing on. Wish I could be a desperate pirate. Oh, there's a mysterious book by itself. He found the ocarina book. Yon takes the ocarina book. Is this actually going to be relevant? Ocarina. Ancient musical instrument. Different notes can be played by using the four holes. It's played during the ceremony of the spirits. The music of the spirits is a special tune. Oh no. Are we actually going to have to memorize how to do the ocarina stuff? Oh no, chat. <laughs> oh no. Well, that will be unfortunate if done later. Yeah, oh boy, indeed. Yeah, no, no up C, A, B combos. Be hard to believe, but I used to be a soldier. Would you like some advice? Sure. Wait for the enemy to attack, then counterattack. Beware, it doesn't work with all enemies. Dash towards the enemy, tap up. Oh, there is a dash button. Oh. This could break the enemy's defense. If an enemy is attacked, tap left or right twice on the D-pad. Or just hit R1. Each weapon is unique. A dagger is quick but weak. An axe is slow but powerful. A sword is well balanced and effective against anyone. Choosing the right weapons will help make you a great fighter. Using magic isn't a simple task, but magic spells can certainly help defeat the enemy. Treasure chests could be a trap, so check it first with this panther eye or scanning spell. Good luck! You find a burial chest, check it carefully. Yeah, yeah, we already know this. Um, I guess I'll go to the tavern first. And then we'll go to the church. Church feels like plot progress. What happens if I go here? My father's always busy. He never has time to play with me. I'm bored. Let's go and play with Furia. Hey, long time no see! Hey, Eon. Hey, Quoki. What happened to your friends? Don't ask. Oh no, something went wrong. Well, how about a treat? Here, have this Venetaba fruit. It'll cheer you up. Wow, thanks a lot. I'm starving. Mmm, delicious. This is great! Why is he giving the sad face if he's enjoying it? This Venetava fruit is fantastic! Oh, okay, even they're commenting on it. On it. But I can't talk today. Are you crying because it's so good? I should be the one crying, it's all gone! Wow, delicious! Hey, now I can restore Eon's health too, amazing! Health is restored. Next time, let me have the Venetava fruit. Okay. So we found an alternate way to heal. I would like to get my MP back eventually somehow, question mark. I don't think I went in this building yet. Oh, door's locked, I can't. All right, well, I think I explored. We got the Ocarina book, which seems plot relevant. I don't think there's anything else we could do, so let's go to the church, church chapel. Oh, Arcia. So glad you've returned safely. But how did you... Eon, did you save her? Yes. Eon and the pirates rescued me. I see. God must have been watching over you. Arcia, it's time for me to tell you something. Eon, I want you to listen carefully, too. Since you're also part of the story I'm about to tell. Arcia. Sadly, your father, Zora, was murdered by the Imperial Wizardry. Oh no. Somehow I knew he was dead. Oh, father. Forgive me for keeping this secret from you. No, I understand. I knew you were just trying to protect me. I'm sure that God has already forgiven you. Yes, I hope so. I'd promised your father that I would wait until you were old enough. Carry on the destiny of the wise men. Destiny of the wise men? The wise men must re-energize the orbs in order to keep the lands floating. You are a descendant, and thus, this destiny is yours now. It's so strange, but somehow it all makes sense to me. Hope you understand the importance of the orbs. There are four continents. Each continent has a lifting verse for their own orb. Arcia, you must recite the verse and re-energize the orbs. I cannot do such an important task by myself. No, Arcia, you are not alone. 
believe that fate has brought you and Eon together. You will help each other to save the continents. Eon, I ask you to help us with your magic power. Orsia has the wise man's power. She cannot find the lifting verses on her own. Please help her. Are we never going to be able to go back in this basement? That kind of sucks. So confused. Leave me alone for a while. Alright, let's say let's say a prayer to save the game. I'll probably go a little further today. So we're now level three. Let's take a look at our status. So I don't know how much MP we could potentially have, but presumably that's increased. We went from 30 health to 40 health. But our damage doesn't seem to go up per level up, which is a bit weird. You would have thought levels would have indicated strength, but they seem unrelated. Eon, what's in your pocket? A bird? It's the latest fashion to walk around with a pet in your pocket. We're like, don't worry, it's just a pocket monster. Okay, so now where is she at? We'll go back in the tavern, see if anything changes. Eon, how did that plan to rescue the young girl work out? He just leaves, he doesn't even wait. Um, is there a place that I missed? What happens if I try leaving? Let's find out together, Chad. Entrance to Arona. To try to save the world. What should I do now? What was it that Valos said? That one must get permission from the Elder to enter the Kilia Shrine? To go to the Elder now. Oh. Well, at least they told us what we need to do. So we have to find the Elder. But I thought we were at the Elder's house, but no one was there. Or maybe he's there now. Hmm. Most of the dialogue seems unimportant. Elder's house was up here. Oh, now he's here. That's fair. I see. So you're worried about Velos. You're very caring, like a real son. Velos brought you up wonderfully. Why did Velos want me, want to raise me like his own? I guess I should tell you everything. You're old enough to learn the truth. It was during a time when we still had many airships. You'd been abandoned in front of a church. I had no idea why you had the scepter. It brought you to my home. A few years later, Velos took you into his own family. He lost his son in an accident. That is why he brought you up like you were his own son. I see. Now I understand him better. Velos told you to go to Kilia's shrine before he disappeared. Eon, you must decide what to do now. First, I think you should return to your home. What do you mean before he disappeared? Wait, he's not back yet? Wait, that's news to me. Wasn't he just investigating? Okay. Love that sharp turn radius. Look at that chat. Woo! <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll progress further. Eon, wait! Arcia. The Elder said you were on your way home. I understand this is not my destiny. I just wish for peace and for the lands to survive. The priest told me about Valos. He knows about the wise men in the ruins. Eon, I'd like to find out more about the lifting verse. Can I come with you? Take her, don't take her. We'll say take her. Uh, let, what happens if I say don't take her? Presumably it's a thou must drink the tea scenario. But the lifting verse. Eon, listen to your heart. This is important to her. Alright, we're in the loop. But Arcia, I'm not sure I'll be any help to you. No, this is my mission. You just have to take me there. Thank you. Let's go.
Ooh, 3D rotation. We did drink the tea. Bellas' house. Marcia, please wait here for me. I want to check something out. All right. I suspect something might be in the barrel, but it's empty. Ooh, the zoom in. You found a source of power? Your LP increased. Ooh. More safety health. So that just... Okay, so that was basically like gaining 40 HP in a barrel for some reason. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. I mean, it's only going to get better every time we level. Bellos. Bellos, are you here? Oh, there's the letter. I don't know why we're looking around. He's not here. Looks like he left something on the table. It's a note from Balos. Dear Eon, according to my research, the secret to saving our land lies in the wise men's cemetery. In order to find it, I must enter the Kilia Shrine located at the top of the mountain. I'm about to leave for the Kilia Shrine. There are many more things I wanted to teach you. Unfortunately, I've run out of time. From now on, you're on your own. But here's some advice. You mean you run out of time? It is about the green crystal that you carry on your left arm. I believe this is the ancient magical scepter lost a long time ago. Whoever owns it has the ability to duplicate certain items. Even decayed or broken items can be replicated in their original form. Although you cannot reproduce life, it allows communication with the deceased. I did not think that it still existed. I'm not sure why you have it. You deserve it. It is an honor to raise you as my son. When you risk your life to save those birds, I realize how much you deserve a future too. I'm on my way to ensure that you have a chance for a long and prosperous life. Should I not return, please be strong. Well, father's dead. <laughs> right, chat? Chat, there's no way. There's no way he's still alive in the dungeon. Especially with that line of, oh, you can talk to dead people? Like, come on, chat. Come on. Velos. Oh, oops. I wasn't expecting a whole line of dialogue. Sorry, Chad. Apparently, there I was expecting to open the secret passageway, but apparently there was a million lines of text. Let's try this again. You found Valis's research notes. They contain information about the scepter. The scepter has the ability to replicate an object through the process of memorization. The person who possesses the scepter, dot dot dot, some pages are torn out. I wonder why. Defeating many enemies will increase the amount of force that is stored. However, if you're wounded, use magic or any other items. Um, you will lose all the stored force. As you defeat each enemy, the force contained in the crystal will increase and change color. To kill more enemies and your power increases, you can release the force and obtain more powerful items. But just defeating random enemies won't allow you to obtain the best items. You must defeat a variety of more powerful foes. Sometimes a special enemy or particular location causes the scepter's force to disperse. Use with caution. Okay, so... So, if I have flawless victories, I could get items, is what I'm being told. Hmm. That's kind of rough. So you literally have to have flawless fights in order to get items. I don't think I like that system, to be honest with you. I'm okay with it being, like, a small reward, but, like, so far we've literally never received an item that way. What's wrong, Eon? You look pale. Sorry, Arcia. Bellus has gone to the Kilia Shrine. He may never return. I see. Hope he's alright. My father took me to the Kilia Shrine when I was a child. I remember a very loud noise and a bright flash of light. I believe it was part of the lifting ceremony. We could try to help Valos find the Wiseman Cemetery. Let's go. I want to find Valos. I was kind of hoping we would find a save point to heal with the new life point, but whatever. We're here now. Kilia Shrine. This is the Kilia Shrine. Corky and I will investigate what lies inside. Arcia, you should wait here with Erlim until we locate Valos. Okay. So let's see if we like the battle axe or the daggers more. Hmm... Wait, we told you to stay on the ship. Why are you here? Here is the entrance to Kilia Shrine. 
My father Zora took me here long ago. What a strange place. I think Fallow censored through here. I'm sorry, Yan. I couldn't wait there by myself. I was too scared. You're literally in like the most protected fortress ever. You're the worst, Arcia. My father took me here. He climbed the stairs to the altar. A moment later, I was knocked unconscious by a bolt of light. Now I think it was part of the lifting verse ceremony. I appreciate you telling me this, Arcia. But I don't think we should both go inside. Let me check it out first. You wait here for me. Yan, please don't do it. I sense great danger. Don't worry, Arcia. I'll be with them. Alright, Eon, let's go find that altar. Maybe it's up here. Come on, Eon. Let's check it out, up here. Ouch! Seems to be some kind of barrier. Strong force is preventing us from going in there. Sorry. I didn't remember that. Are you two alright? I feel like she's just asking to be kidnapped, chat. <laughs> I'm fine, but this place is full of hidden dangers. Don't go too far from here. Yes, I know. I'll wait here. Eon, be careful. Does that injure me at all if I do it on purpose? No. Eon, please don't do it. I sense great danger. Oh, so that's just a quick exit to Heirloom. Okay. Well, I mean, I was going to go here anyway, so I feel like she just slowed us down, to be honest with you. Gilead Shrine, first floor. Oh, there's the save point I've been looking for. It's so quiet here. They're brave in front of Arcia, but I'm really scared. I'm going to hide in your pocket. There's restore. Do I wish to save? Yes. Turn to the entrance. What's the point of that? We see a gem up here, but I can't interact with it. Hmm. Also, interestingly, if I hold left against it or right, I auto bounce around the pillar. If you're wondering what's happening here, so this is me holding left. Interesting. But only on that one. Why is that? Is it just because the item that it has? Oh, he hit me. Ooh, combat is kind of fast when you get used to it. So I can double tap to dodge. I still have to get used to the movement. I'm not a big fan of the dagger for the most part. I think I need like a little more range. So... R1 is just kind of a quick dodge versus double tapping. So I, I guess that is some use. But if I need to go forward, for example, I gotta commit. Yeah, I think the range of the dagger is just a little too small. Like, I like its speed, but it's also not letting me stun lock at all. Do you know what I mean? So I'll try the battle axe next. Okay, got rid of his LP. Aw, oh, rip my LP. So yeah, not a fan just due to its range. It's like I just wanted it I just wanted like a little longer. Like it didn't have to be like quite the long sword. But that little distance is not good. Plus it's like stabbing versus slicing. So I'm not getting like a good coverage unless I hold like left. So like if I hold up, I get the thrust, which is really awkward. Yeah. I don't care if I get injured here, because I'm just going to heal. I mostly just want to swap out of this weapon, because I'm not a fan of this weapon at all. Alright, so let's get rid of the dagger. Not a fan. We did Slasher. Okay, I want something with more range. Let's try the Battle Axe. Yeah, it's like, when you do the Slashes, it's okay, but it's like, it's... It needed just, like, a tiny bit more range. I could see it interrupting, like, certain boss power attacks, for example, but... If I have to slice like 30 million times to kill the enemy, I don't think it's worth it. So what happens if we double our damage? So it seems like most battles are somewhat avoidable. Oh, that is crazy slow. 
but it is really good at punishing. Oh, I got punished. Unfortunate. Almost a flawless victory. White Crystal attained, MP attained, quantity 20. Okay, so you get MP back for fighting. Interesting. Oh. Maybe Axe is too slow. Ooh, it might be too slow for this. It's kind of unfortunate. I guess depending on the enemy, you swap your weapon type. So maybe Sword is the best versus this enemy. Because this is, like, way too slow for this enemy. But for enemies with, like, easy punishes, I can see the axe being really good. Or I could trap him in the corner. That is not too bad. But you can see, like, I'm struggling to just swing fast enough. So I guess, I guess it really is just depending on what enemy you see, you change your weapon, which is fair. I wish there was a way to change it mid-combat. Oh, there is. Oh. Oh. Okay, then that's, that's not that bad then. I did not mean to press the heal button there. Actually, no, it's just the equipment screen. Oh, it's like slightly too slow. Yeah, I just, I don't know what the strategy is to hit these. They're pretty evasive. Like, the side slash seems okay. But, like, I can't get any, like, real combos on them because they keep dodging. Hmm. I have to figure out a better strategy versus them. They're very evasive. The, the Guardians are pretty easy to punish. So, like, for, for example, I could just preemptively equip the Axe here because they're not going to do anything. But it seems like all combat in this game is skippable, which is kind of nice. Oh, it broke his shield. Yeah, like, Axe is clearly really good here versus the slow guys. So that's kind of neat. He did High Guardian. Stone is buried here. Pick up the stone, the scepter begins to glow. Sacred Stone Achillea has been memorized by the scepter. Okay. What's in here? Probably an herb, if I had to guess. Oh, not an herb. Ancient Mystery Stone attained. Okay. Serious voice echoes through your mind. The scepter gains the flamethrower magic. That sounds fun. Too bad I don't have a lot of MP. Pillar Shrine, first floor. So yeah, you can evade them if you want. I might as well kill these guys though. Maybe we'll get bonus items. Are you going to do your laser attack, or are you just trolling? Oh, he outsped. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I pressed it before him, but he was faster. So I guess, like, the thrust is fast for the axe, but the slash is crazy slow. That's fun. There's a chest up there. Let's see how to get to that. I would like to flamethrow or something at some point. I'm sure it'll make certain kills much easier. Oops, straight to the third floor. Not what I was expecting. Hmm. Oh, uh, I might as well fight this enemy. Why is he not attacking? Oh, now you do your laser. I knew this was the laser guy. He was just trolling earlier. Maybe he's more aggressive if he loses a life total? Oh, come on. I wanted to... Yeah, see, that's the problem. See how I can't press any button there? <sighs> so unfortunate. Maybe I do have to just use the sword for a while. Yeah, see, it's like, it's like just fast enough to punish most of his attacks. 
So I wish there was something between the sword and the dagger in terms of speed. And we got more gems. I guess I'll heal. Because I don't know where a save point is other than back at the beginning. Oh, hello. So there are some mandatory encounters, that's fair. Slasher is so annoying. Oh, come on. Did he really jump as soon as I went to thrust him? Come on. There we go. I might trade some blows here. We'll see. I need to have a better strategy versus this enemy, though. Because he keeps doing that and he gets out of the corner. So it's like the AI is actually decent. It's just more annoying trying to figure out with what the weapons we have, how to deal with it. I tried hitting block. Unfortunate. Yeah, so I don't mind fighting the Guardians. I think I don't want to get in battles with the Slasher. Well, I got something just then. I think it was a Dried Herb. Um, I'm gonna hold off on using it for a bit. Hmm. I think this enemy was better with the axe. So I gotta be a little careful here, because I did take a lot of damage, mostly from the slasher. Oh, he baited me. I thought he wasn't gonna swing. There we go. And 40 MP or 20 MP total or whatever you know what I mean uh, there's a chest here let's take the chest so yeah I gotta get a little more used to the combat it definitely feels like it wants me to mix it up a little and I'm also kind of surprised we haven't found new armor or anything yet still interesting I don't know what the point of the third floor was to be honest Hmm. Alright, let's go back to the beginning. I'm just gonna go heal and then we'll double check the, the third floor. Because I, I didn't see how to get to that chest. Ooh, that was such a good dodge. <laughs> that was such a good dodge. So I like that you can kind of pick and choose when to do encounters and they respawn. Oh, I don't want to fight that thing at all. The thing is horrendous. Shoot, he noticed me. Okay, as long as we can avoid that guy, we're good. <laughs> right, chat? Just, Slasher is horrible. It dodges a little too much. If we had, like, a spear, I feel like a spear... Oh, no. I feel like a spear would be really good for us. I just, I just don't know. Like, I could practice on him again real quick. Interesting he doesn't fight you unless he's facing you. Like, you could see there, I tried swinging. Oh, because I was mid-swing. Well, let me switch weapons. Like, is there a trick to making the Dirk more useful in this fight? I guess it can interrupt attacks, sort of. Oh, if it does that attack, I could punish pretty easy. Okay, so if he does the 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 hug me attack, that's very punishable. I can't seem to punish his other attacks though. Okay, this okay, this is what you're supposed to do to beat him. That that feels fair. Okay. I've learned. I just needed I just need to figure out like what attack I was missing. Got 30 extra MP. Well, I'm just gonna immediately resave. Yeah, now it makes sense to me, because I'm like, there's no way. 
So it, you have to let him get into his range. That's fair. That's fair. So I like that the game is making me play different play styles. Like I have a very evade heavy versus guard heavy. So I, I kind of like the combat so far, even if it's not the most complicated thing in the world. I like that the weapon styles differ a little bit here. Like, for example, I really don't think I want dagger versus this guy, but I could if I wanted to. All right, now I'm just straight bullying him. Wait a minute, the stun lock? Wait a minute, we found the real way to use dagger? Oh, there we go. There's the stun lock. Get out of here, stupid. Blue scepter force, do you want to open it? Sure. Power of scepter force is released. Rid of Anatoa. Okay. Well, I think we can agree. That was just straight bullying. Just straight up bullying. I'm like, listen, I get, get in the corner. See, he's, he's immune to the infinite. Where is he? Nope. Yeah, he is. What a jerk. On the plus side, I have a lot of bonus MP, so even if I am injured, I don't think it matters too much. Okay, if I can predict the jump, I can punish. I'm gonna try my luck on this guy real quick with Dagger, just to see. And I just break his guard by doing this enough times with Dagger. We know Axe breaks it eventually. So maybe eventually this also breaks. Oh, I got hit. Maybe it doesn't break? Yeah, I don't think it breaks. Okay. So this is where the Axe would come in handy. Oh, I did the thrust by accident. I didn't mean to do that. I don't trust it. Ooh. Ooh, he was outspeeding me hard there. That sucks. Why can't I break his shield anymore? Oh. Does it only break with the axe? I guess the other hits didn't count with the dagger. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Now we know, I guess. White Crystal attained MP. What does White Crystal do? Store LP randomly. Just use... I'll use one just to see. Okay. So dagger actually somewhat useful against certain enemies, but other enemies I kind of need the axe to bully. So I think we got the thing we needed to progress with the dungeon. The question is just where do we go? Although I might have to take a small break during the dungeon, unfortunately, because I'm expecting family at some point today. Oh, oops. And speaking of which, they just messaged me. I'm going to go have to deal with that in a moment. Oh yeah, you don't have a shield, so I could just straight bully you. Yeah, this enemy is just free items. We'll call this enemy the item dispenser. Right, chat? Like, what can he do? Nothing. Infinite. I don't know if I should hold it later or not, but I keep getting fruits from it. Yeah, why don't we pause here, actually, because I think family's gonna interrupt me. But hey, at least we learned something about the combat. We're relearning things in real time. I still don't like fighting the slasher, but this enemy is free. Look at that combo. <laughs> like, this is just actually cheap. I still have to get a little bit used to, like, the dash attack that I mentioned before. Got a white crystal that time. So items are somewhat random. Might be based off of the enemy. Whether we get like a uber rare or not. But hey, we ended up with a lot of healing items without me needing to do anything. So I'm glad we didn't spend any money there. So we'll do one last attack and battle just to spend some time in the game. Get used to the combat again. But I'm liking my 80 MP. I'm liking that we have a lot of healing items. Despite me not paying any money towards it. 
Is it just the thrust that really sucks with the dagger? Because the slash attack is good. Yeah, like, slash is, like, so much faster. Where the axe, it's faster to thrust, but it's awkward. So as long as I don't thrust with the dagger, I'm learning I'm having fun with the dagger. So that was my problem. I have to use it as more of a slashing weapon. Okay. I, I don't like the thrust. It leaves me way too open and I can't guard right away. Whereas the slash seems to have about as much range as the thrust and it covers dodges. So like, why would I ever thrust with this? And if I need to guard break, I'll just pick a different weapon. So we'll save here. I recovered most of my MP. We're back up to 110. So I have two in-battle heals. We have an extra LP from the other house. So I don't think we can level. We can't grind in the traditional sense in this game. But I like you can get additional items from potentially performing well. So the game, if we cheese enemies, it's pretty easy to get stuff. But we'll see how easy or hard it is to get gems later on. So let's talk about our thoughts and feelings about the game so far. So, so far, I'm seeing some promising signs. You know, for a 3D combat game, it's actually pretty solid combat. Right, chat? Like, how many times do you think, like, PS1 and good 3D controls? Right? Those things are not normally synonymous with each other. But I really like, like, the double taps for the dashes and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I have a dodge button to shortcut it a little bit, so technically allows faster inputs. Um, I like that there is just kind of, like, dash attack. It's got slashes versus thrusts. I don't have like a ton of attacks I could do with it, but it also makes me kind of react to the enemy types, which I can't say about a lot of the 3D style games. And I like that there's like situations I want to guard versus dodge, and guard is pretty good in this game. So guard doesn't cause me to get injured, which is important. I can get guard broken as we've seen. But yeah, like, combat-wise, it's pretty fun. Honestly, I could see myself just doing the combat <laughs> this game over and over. I'll try not to just fight literally everything. Uh, but we'll try to go through re-explore things, and hopefully we'll get another piece of armor or something. So yeah, outside of the initial troubles with the game itself running correctly, uh, so far I'm having fun with it. Voices, whatever. Plot seems to be going pretty fast, but... You know, it, it is what it is. Not everything's perfect. Like, turn-based or actual fighting game, even more good combat in PlayStation. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, it's actually, like, it feels really responsive, which is, again, not words I normally think of with PS1, <laughs> especially with 3D. Especially after getting, like, traumatized by the horrible, horrible tank controls that I'm really mad existed for so long on the PS1 era. Like, your Silent Hill style, your Resident Evils. I'm like, listen, I would have enjoyed those games so much more. If it was as fluid and responsive as this was. Like, meanwhile, I'm just zipping everywhere. I'm kind of curious about the flamethrower magic. So just remind me, chat. We'll, we'll try to use it at some point on some random enemy. Um, hopefully we'll get more weapon styles as we go through the game. But I guess we'll see what happens. Sword so far is okay. It is kind of like the middle ground. Axe is useful in some very rare situations. Dagger just seems so much better than most of the weapons so far. If you don't thrust. Thrust feels like the worst. It feels like the worst. Where it's weird like the axe thrust. Normally you think axe like you slash with it. But are you, when you thrust with it and you get the vertical chop, it's just so much better than the wide swing. So unfortunately axe is just ultra ultra slow. But we did see it could break guard. So there are some unique mechanics weapons seem to have in the game. So I'm looking forward to unlocking more weapon types and kind of experimenting with things. Uh, but I think for now, chat, we're going to say goodbye because I have stuff to do with family. So let's say goodbye to YouTube first. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.